Warren Redlick. He is running on the Libertarian line, and he's joining us in the studio tonight to perhaps offer a little bit of a preview of what's to come. Thank you are for you having gonna, me. Are you going to show up in costume? Well, I'm going to do something do? really unusual. I'm going to actually look rational and calm and talk about the issues, and I think Given the way this is going, I'll actually stand out yeah. by, by talking calmly and rationally. You actually might, given I, the way I, this I won't, is going. I won't bash gays. I won't. I won't insult people. I won't call anybody names. And the way things are going, that's going to be a standout position. Okay, so let's be serious for just one second. When you have seven people in 90 minutes, allowing for opening statements and closing statements, it really doesn't offer for very much. How's anyone going to get a word in edgewise? Uh, I calculated that it's an average of 13 minutes, oh. and my hunch is that when you add in moderator time and the fact that the major candidates may get more time, I'll probably get less than 10 minutes. Uh, as I understand it, there are no opening and closing statements. There are only questions. Um, that's I, I'm not certain of that, but I think that's the way it's uh -huh. going to be. So that's one way to cut cut down on the. Uh, that they they find a lot of things to do. I, I think it might have something to do with there's only one candidate who really benefits by not having opening statements, and that would be the candidate everybody already knows. Right. Um, but I think you take the opportunity when you're given a question to focus on the things to find a way to shift that question to focus on the things that you want to talk about. I'm focused on how we can cut spending and uh, fix our budget because it's out of whack and if I focus on that and find a way to, sh to keep stay focused on that I'll be talking about the things that people really care about as opposed to Carl Palladino just calling people names and Andrew Cuomo not talking about anything. There is an idea or a, a theory about how this is going to go which is that actually everyone will pile on Andrew Cuomo because he is of course the front runner. Do you think that's how this is going to go? No. I don't think Howie Hawkins will do that, and I don't think I will do that. I think certainly Palladino will do that, and I think Kristen Davis will do that. Charles Barron certainly is likely to do that because that's why he's running. Right. Jimmy, McMillan, Jimmy McMillan will talk about the rent is too damn high, and that's all he'll talk about. So I think you'll see two or three candidates going after Cuomo. Um, my impression is Howie Hawkins is going to talk about his green energy plan, and I'm going to talk about how we can stop wasting money. Here's the problem, though. How is this fair for voters? I mean, it, let's assume that really there is only one debate, and you've had Andrew Cuomo agree that he'll only participate. Now, I mean, to be fair, that's what you wanted. That's what Carl Palladino said he wanted. That's what everybody wanted was a fully inclusive debate. But probably, unless something really unusual happens, according to the polls, Andrew Cuomo, this is coming down to Andrew Cuomo and Carl Palladino, and not... Andrew Cuomo, Carl Palladino, you, Kristen Davis, well, We don't know that. We haven't been included in any polls. Well, because the only polls are most people don't know who you are. How do we know that? We haven't been included in the polls. I was in a poll in March and I was doing okay. Then they stopped including me in the polls. Let's, what does okay translate into again? At that point it was three to four percent, but wait a minute. At that point I, didn't ha I hadn't done anything. I've done a lot since then. It's hard to measure. And that was uh, Cuomo versus Lazio and Cuomo versus Levy. Neither one of them is in the race anymore. Maybe we should have a poll that looks at how we're doing now. I've done quite a bit in my campaign so far, and I think I'm making a dent. Am I likely to win? No, it's a long shot. But I don't think anybody thinks Carl Palladino has a chance of winning at this point. So it really comes down to which political parties get the most votes to affect the ballot status for the next four years. And if the Green Party, Libertarian Party get 50,000 votes, we have ballot lines for the next four years. And what if I get 5, 10 percent of the vote? I don't think that's unreasonable if I polled at 3 to 4 percent back in March. If I get 10 percent of the vote, that might be row C. That, that matters. Yeah, it matters. You would be bumping out the Independence Party if, in fact, you ended up on row C. Right. That would be, that'd be something else if you did that. You never know what's going to happen. But what do you think people can expect then? What do you think it's going to look like on October 18th? I think that uh, I think it's mostly going to be boring. I mean, I, I think everybody's going to be waiting for Carl Palladino to say something stupid. It's kind of like watching a car race. They're waiting for the crash. Um, I think Andrew Cuomo will be as boring as possible. I think Jimmy McMillan will be as outlandish as possible. I'm going to focus on my message and talk about the things that I think the voters care about. I think Howie Hawkins will do it his way. Uh, Kristen Davis will probably do something outlandish as well. That's her, her MO. Um, but I think in the end, Andrew Cuomo will be boring and everybody will be waiting for Carl Palladino to make a mistake. And will he? Probably he seems to make a mistake every time he opens his mouth. I just I who's going to write a speech? The the, the vote. Well, there's no opening statement, so you said. I just 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 in parting though, really, the voters are the voters getting what they should be seeing. No, there should be more debates. And it's uh, people say, well, there's only an hour and a half that the minor party candidates should get out of the way. How about we have three debates that are four hours long each? Then the voters would really get a chance to hear it. That is not gripping television, Warren Redlick. I don't know. What to I'll tell do what you, I can. I'll try to make it entertaining. Unfortunately, I want to thank you very much for being here. We, of course, will be watching the debate, and we will we will give the viewers highlights just in case. Thank you. Thanks.